Hey guys, Mike from the Off-Grid Shop here and today we're talking about a Victron Off-Grid system, what's required in the components in each system. Now I'm going to assume that you've done your load demand, so you know how, much, how big of an inverter you want, how much battery storage and stuff like that. So we're not going to do that sort of details, we're just going to go what components are required for a Victron Off-Grid system. Now in my opinion, if you're going to do any sort of decent quality system, I'd highly recommend doing an inverter charger. There's a lot of companies out there that do the inverter with a cheap car battery charger and things like that. I don't recommend that. The reason I recommend get the inverter charger is because when you plug your generator into your inverter charger, you've got access to your generator power, plus it charges your batteries at the same time. If you go a cheaper option with an inverter and a charger, you can only charge your batteries with your generator. You don't actually have the access to your extra power from your generator. So that's a big thing and I highly recommend. Always build your system around an inverter charge if you want some sort of decent system. Now, the next thing you want is your MPPT. This is your automatic gearbox for your solar panels. So this takes from your solar panels, this takes the energy from that there into your batteries and it stops it from overcharging your batteries. MPPTs also actually will produce about an extra 30% of energy. A lot of companies out there offer PWMs. If you look into what they are, they're just a cheap version. Pretty much they just turn on and off to stop your batteries from overcharging, basically. With these MPPTs, they're a maximum power point tracker. If you think about it, like a gearbox, like an automatic gearbox for your solar panels, it makes sure they're always in the right gear and that they're always going to give you the optimum performance from that there. Now, they're must-haves in your solar system, your battery, your MPPT, and your inverter charger. Pretty much everything else you can get away with not having, but I'd highly recommend get it. Now, the next thing, I'd, if it was a, a, you know, on your, if you're on a budget with a system here, I'd highly recommend get a Serbro. Um, out of all these extra devices, get a Serbro. The good thing about this Serbro is you can actually get this color screen here on your mobile phone. So just you pull your phone out of your pocket and through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can connect through to this here and you can actually see everything that's going on from your mobile phone. So if you can do that, I personally, for the extra couple of hundred dollars, I'd rather spend to get the screen. It's just so much easier. And these are touch screens, so you can program do everything on here. The reason I highly recommend these here is if, as an example, one feature I love about this, if your generator changes, if you're not a technical person and you've only got your inverter charger, you're going to require a laptop and some programming skills or you never get the guy that told you the system designed to come out and reprogram it, there's a cost there. If you have one of these here, you can simply log in and you can adjust the amps that's gonna take from your generator to charge your batteries from, just through the screen. So you can go in and actually change those settings, really simple through the touch screen. So something I'd highly recommend is this servo will allow you to do it. You actually don't need the touch screen. You can actually do it all on your mobile phone, but I highly recommend you get the screen, just makes things look easier and to do than playing around your mobile phone. Now the next thing I think also as well, which is highly recommend, is to get yourself one of the Victron Smart Shunts. Now the reason we install, for us as a business, we install these in every single system that we do for two reasons. One is if you don't have a smart shunt or a battery monitor, it doesn't, the inverter doesn't see what energy it uses itself. So I learned this lesson the hard way back in the early days with a customer whinging and moaning that he wasn't getting the capacity out of his batteries and we're wondering why. And we worked out that the inverter, just on idle and standby, the, the inverter that he had was actually using more power than we thought. So we started putting smart shunts in. So these actually read everything that comes out of your battery. So without one of these smart shunts, the Victron can't calculate how much self-consumption the inverter is using overnight. So something really important. The second reason to add a smart shunt Victron smart shunts are one of the best in the market. Even if you're not going with Victron, I'd highly recommend get yourself a smart shunt to have an infinity memory. What's amazing about that there is you can literally, when it comes to battery warranties, you've got all the data recorded from day one, you installed your batteries. So a lot of battery manufacturers over the years I've dealt with all try to get out of their battery warranties and don't want to pay for them. Lead acid's a great example. They said the customer just abused the batteries. They offer these amazing batteries and say, look, there's no, and there's no proof. There's just nothing, no history, unless you've got a Victron battery monitor. With these here, I highly recommend get one and always have your system connected on the internet because all that data is recorded online and it can be really handy. We've used that so many times it's come to a situation where manufacturers trying to get out of warranties. We've got the data to help support, hey, look, this is a history. The customer hasn't abused the batteries. It's your product that's failed. So something I highly recommend. Everything else is more safety and things. Generator plug, isolator here to turn your solar panels on or off. You turn them on, they're off. Um, these fuses here, there's different types of fuses for safety and things like that. But just from a product point of view, that's pretty much everything you require from Victron Solar System. And also don't forget, you're gonna want solar panels. So 
If you want any help with dissolving this system, comment below, let us know and we can help you out and go from there. Thanks and have a great day.